Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review this nice looking box. It's called K1 Pro. It's done by Mikul. It's a quad core box, by the way. So let's go through it. You can see the box is really nicely designed. We will open it. And once you open it, the components that are part of this is the actual unit comes with AIR remote and also an HDMI, which is 2.0. And it only comes with a power adapter, which is 12 volt and 2 amps. So we will put everything aside. Let's go through the box itself. It's really nicely designed. You can see it says Mikul right on the top and then it does say K1 Pro right in the right hand side in the bottom. Go into the front part of it has nothing but the IR sensors there. Going on the right side there's nothing there but once you go to the back part of it itself you have the AV connection. For that, you do require to have an adapter, which is not part of the box. Also comes with a 10, 100, 1000. Yes, so it is a gigabit LAN. And then you do have the HDMI 2.0A connection. Right beside that, you have the optical audio connection. And then you have the DC connection, which is 12 volt. Going on the other side of it, you have a micro USB reader. And then you have four USB 2.0 ports. And you can see there's a little cut. And once you turn it on, that light will be blue. So that is for power. And you have to press the button on the top in order for it to turn it off or leave it on. Going on the bottom part of it, you have a lot of holes for ventilation and one little sticker for the serial number. It does have four little legs so it can stand up. Except that, let's go through the box itself. So once you're trying to connect it, make sure that you connect the HDMI first. And since it is an Android box, make sure that you purchase a Air Mouse remote if you don't have one. Links will be in the bottom where you can get more from the ones that we recommend. And then on top of that, you have to connect the power so that way it can power up. And yes, when you're powering it up, you can see that the top, uh, you have a little cut that will show a little blue light. That means it's powering up. Once it goes in, this is what you have to see or to what you're going to see. The animation is very basic. It just says inbox and that's about it. But once it goes in, this is what you're going to get. So you have a huge logo on the top. And this is a really basic Metro launcher that Mikul always brings up in the start. And you have a big time on the right hand side which is incorrect for the meantime and you see the user manuals there too this is their digital user manual so that way you can play with it and if you don't know anything about the unit you will learn it from here these are the shortcuts that we added by just clicking this little plus button and then any of these that you want to add to the main screen you can just click on it and it will be added just like this one then in the bottom you do have a bunch of other icons which you can click for something like TV center it is not installed and also explore so some of the shortcuts does not really work except the apps itself so when you go you can see all the apps that are inside of it but getting out and you do have settings which you can click and this way you can go inside of your network and also more so you can see let's go to about and just show you that this one is running 7.1.2 and it is done by the Miku firmware that is loaded on this is from 2018-09-14 so this is how you're going to go through to set up your sound your apps your screensaver your display if you have these little lines just like I have you can go through this to fix it by just going into zoom and you can zoom in and now it's full screen and then also you go into screen resolutions you can fix it you can turn on the best resolution i always turn this off so this way if there's any problem with my android box it's very easy for me to determine if it's my tv or the android box and i always set it up as 1080p for my capturing but again if you have a 4k and if your apps do support 4k then go ahead and sub select this and you can click on the 4k when it shows up so my screen right now is 1080p 60 hertz and that's the maximum it will display so if you have a 4k 4k will display so let's get out of this too and let's go through a few things to let you guys know how good this box is and before i go there you can see the wi-fi is on right now the usb if you want to connect and then you do have the ethernet connection and then if you have a micro SD inside of it, these will be all lit in green or different colors. All right, so let's go through first into Geekbench. Since we have already processed this, we can give you a lot of information through it. So the CPU is AM Logic. It does run 7.1.2 and this box is K1 Pro. So going into the history, 
you can see right now that the single core is only 615 and also the multi core is 1758 which is a really good number but going on the bottom it gives you more information about the unit itself and how it's running so getting out of this and let's go next we try to run the antutu benchmark but the 3d part of it is not compatible to the os so i guess it's still new and they have to fix it and that way we can go through to play it the next thing we want to play with is the youtube itself inside of it so the youtube that comes inside of it is not 2.0 but 1.3 and once you go through it the maximum resolution that you can get out of these is not going to be 4k but maximum 1080p so let's try to play a 4k video and see what it will indicate for us when we'll go into settings and you can see the maximum resolution it does bring up as 1080p so you cannot go over we try to install the 2.0 but it start freezing it's because of the firmware has to be touched by me cool developers in order to make this even better so because it has four gigabyte of ram in this and it has 32 gig internal storage okay video and let's see how fast it will play and let's see the buffer so i know that it's right on a dot again but it has still some little freezing so i guess for in this case that means is that these developers has to work on it a little more in order to make this better now remember this is a 4k video now go into 1080p video let's see how fast it will bring it up Alright, so this is our 1080p video and once we start playing it, you can see that it picks up really good and you can see the buffer is proper and everything is running smoothly. So yes, if you do want to stream online, this will work perfectly. Doesn't matter if you're on YouTube or if you are on Netflix or Tubi TV or any of those free apps, it will work perfectly for you. Alright, so we will close this too and then we will get out of Kodi. Now the next thing I want to cover is going to be DRM info. This will give you some indications. This will give you some indications what's good and what is not, how it works, and if something is compatible or not. So you can go through that the brand is AM Logic, everything is there, but if you wanna go under white wine, you can see that the security level is only L1, and you go on down under DHCP is supported. So only thing is, since they don't have license for Netflix, you're not going to be able to get Netflix HD on this unit. All right, so we will get out of that too. So the next thing we wanna cover is going to be speed test. Now under speed test, this is something that we have already performed and we got some really good result out of this. So going first is going to be the LAN connection. This is a gigabit LAN. So under gigabit LAN, you can see that our download rate was 389 for first time because we have a gigabit LAN connection but a lot of people are connected to it and our upload rate is 30 megabit so I'm getting really good numbers and went to the second time we got even better number and then our upload rate went out down a little bit I gotta understand that every time we try to do this is if people are connected or not connected how far we are going to be connected in order to do this test everything matters so you can see that there's a lot of things in this that it gives you explanation and these things do matter so if you see a lot of these going through and if you see these type of bumps going all the way around then there's something wrong with their drivers or they have not really paid attention on how this works now the second thing we have done is 2.4 network. You connect it, remember that 2.4 network only connects up to 10100. So you, don't, you do not go over a 60 megabits or a little bit higher to maximum 75. So we got about 40 and that is still really good because we do not know how many people on this network connected with the 2.4 network. But our upload rate is really good which is right below 30 megabits. And then we went, did it one more time and we got even better number and our upload rate down, came down a very, very little bit. Once we connected with 5G network, you can see that it went above 100 megabits right away and to 179 and our upload rate was only 16.5. Once we did it one more time, we got 185 for our download and 19 megabit 
for the upload. So this again, it shows that how good this box will run if you want to do something online. But there's still some video decoding that these guys have to pay attention to to do some updates on this box in order to make it even better. Remember that this box comes with four gigabyte of RAM and also 32 gig internal storage. And we really like this box by itself. But again, there's a lot of things that will bring it down for us. So we can recommend it to you guys if you want to buy it for the price that it comes under it should be very good but again for a lot of things i just saw some buttons start missing from the screen itself so again that's a little bit of a glitch on the launcher itself too so you can load other launchers on it but i wanted to mention again that this box is good but i hope that they start getting uh, making this better i know me cool is just getting up there and they are really good competitive with a lot of companies and i hope that they start going towards the android tv also because that's the future for the android boxes except that if you do like this video give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to this video and subscribe to this channel and also please share this video with your friends and let them know that we do exist we care and we want to help you guys out to get as much knowledge as possible for these android boxes except that i hope you guys like our video do not forget to visit our website which is exitex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you